Here's a low nose tech quick review under two minutes, hopefully. Introducing Paris Rhone's 1080p Full HD projector with Wi-Fi connectivity and the option to play music and connect surround sound speakers to it. In the box, you'll get a nifty remote for your projector, HDMI cable, power cord, AV cable for legacy devices such as old video game systems, VCRs, or DVD players, but I'm pretty sure some of you are out there still asking, what cord is this with a yellow, red, and a white? And if you're not, well, congrats. Yeah, we're that old. You have your user manual, and of course, the star of the show, the projector. On the top, you have your control buttons to control all the menus of the projector. You have your keystone adjustments and focus knob. On the back, a VGA port and power socket. And on one side, the vents. On the other side, two USB ports to play USB media, two HDMI ports, a headphone jack, and an AV port for the old man port we saw earlier. On the bottom, a mounting port for tripods or ceiling mounts, and a screw to level out the projector if it's on a flat surface. Now, let's get to what you really want to see, and that's the image quality. Overall, the Paris Rhone delivers a nice image. Movies look really nice, colors are full and vivid, and the 1080p resolution gives you a clear picture. Now, as always, keep in mind, placement of the projector is a huge factor when it comes to the clarity of the image. While you do have the keystone to adjust the image slightly, you want this lined up dead on as you can be, or you'll experience some soft parts of the image farther from the center you get. Keeping with the image quality, you do get a couple options. User, Vivid, Standard, Soft. Personally, I like to keep it on Vivid with the nature of the projector, since I know external light sources affect the image. I want as much color pop as I can get from this. Let's talk about gaming. It's completely playable. Low input lag and the image looks good. I do want to say this though, and this is the reason why I picked Vivid. The image does have a slightly washed out feel, so make sure you're really in a dark environment or pick Vivid. Sound, it's good, some nice speakers, but don't forget you can connect some external speakers to it. Now, let's talk about the mirroring option, which I feel is the weakest part of this package, but probably at the same time, the least used. In short, it's kind of buggy. I mean, yeah, you can connect it, but for my test, while I did get it to connect, I only got it to connect once, and it's been finicky ever since then. Plus, you can only mirror wirelessly and not wired. Overall, the Paris Rhone 1080p LCD projector is a solid pick. Good image, good size, good sound. I would pass on the mirroring though. All right, hope this video helped. For more videos like this, subscribe. If you liked it, well then leave a like and hit the bell so you don't miss another video. All right, take care, bye.